Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Mancor. Uh, today's video is going to be the second edition in the Mancor book review series. And uh, before we get to that, I'm sure things are, are probably looking just a little bit different. Uh, I did pick up a, a light here over the weekend and uh, I've been kind of testing it out. So anxious to hear what, uh, what your thoughts are. Hopefully it's a little better visually and uh, I'll be working on the sound too. But um, wanted to uh, thank everybody for sharing their comments. I've, I've really enjoyed connecting with everybody and uh, I really appreciate you continuing to share your journey and posting your comments, your successes, the things that you're working on. Um, again, I'm super grateful for all that and you know I care deeply about uh, each one of those people that are commenting. So thank you very much. Continue to share your journey um, and share the channel with anybody else who you think uh, should join us here in the uh, Mancore community. But let's get down to business. Today in the Mancore book review series, we are going to be covering one of my favorite books, an all-time classic, one that I come back to time and time again, and that book is How to Be a 3% Man by Corey Wayne. So, if you've never heard of Corey Wayne or you have never seen this book before, I'm going to put a link to Corey Wayne's channel out on YouTube. Uh, he's been posting videos for probably about 10 years. He's got a ton of content out there, so I highly, highly, highly recommend that, uh, that you check it out. Uh, Corey is a life and uh, peak performance coach, and uh, he's helped me out tremendously. I've been following his content for like, I would say probably five, six years. And a lot of his advice, you know, focuses on relationships, becoming a better man, becoming a better communicator, becoming a better leader. And, you know, what really stood out to me about his advice is that it flew in the face of everything that I thought I knew and everything that I did before, but didn't really work when it came to relationships and um, you know, approaching women, dating women, courting women, and uh, that ongoing relationships. So, you know, it's it, their videos and, and their lessons that, um, you know, for a long time, I actually kept to myself. I kind of kept this as like my own secret. And, you know, I've learned over time that that's, that's not really the, the best way to do it. So that's why I'm going to share it with you all today. Um, and uh, kind of tell you a little bit about what I picked up on it, what I really like from it. And, um, you know, I'm anxious to hear what you guys think and, uh, you know, if this is something that, uh, that you guys gain value from. So, on to the book. How to be a 3% man. So the whole concept, you're probably wondering, like, what does 3% mean? His whole ideal behind 3% is that uh, only 3% of the world's population, uh, you know, attain the most wealth. They, you know, date the most beautiful girls they have uh, a life that we consider to be, you know, successful, um, have what they want. And, uh, you know, they're living the, the kind of the lives that, uh, you know, that most of us strive to or, or hope to someday. But, uh, and that the other 97 percenters are out there just, uh, you know, swimming in circles and they don't really know what the hell they're doing. So uh, it's, it's a catchy uh, subject. And uh, I don't know that I entirely agree with uh, the 3% because as popular as this book is keeps getting and uh, hopefully uh, you guys uh, picked one up uh, I think maybe it's maybe more like 6% or, or 9% but anyway really good stuff in here and I wanted to share it with you guys because again this has been super helpful for me so going through the book you know if you watch his channel you're gonna find out that he he continues to, to reiterate back to it he's always encouraging people to read it 10 to 15 times and um, I do agree with that because, you know, in the, in the many times that I've read it, uh, I've read it, excuse me, um, what I've taken away from it is that it becomes in, ex, like instinctual. It just becomes part of who you are. And, you know, to become a better man, you were talking about having this be something for the long haul, um, the long term. You know, we're not in it for the short term. We're not in it for the quick fix. This is really aligning you to the things that you already have inside and the, and the um, you know the qualities of uh, of good men of valiant men and the, and people that you know have have a tendency to, to to get what they want in life and to achieve and to attain and um, you know how to really add value. So he he does add on a couple of you know components in terms of like spiritual um, health. Uh, of course, relationships and, you know, facing your fears, rejections, 
Um, you know, he really tilts things on their head. And I think it's that that really stood out to me. Once I really, you know, believed in, in his work and started, you know, applying it, I really started to see and notice that the results were coming. So I continue to come back to this and uh, it's, it's one that I'll always, you know, continue to thumb through. Um, I think apart from it becoming instinctual, um, another concept that he sort of focuses on or as you, as you close out the book is that, you know, the process of becoming a 3% man is just like we've talked about here is, is always evolving. It's ongoing. It doesn't have an end. So, um, what I liked about this is that, you know, it's something that is gradual. It's over time. And it's something that, you know, we always need to pay attention to and always need to uh, be engaged with. Um, but about the book. So, you know, the first part of it is really about the beginning. So it's going to talk about like his evolution, his understanding, um, how he used to go about things. And to be honest with you, I think a lot of you guys are going to find a lot of similarities. You know, he's, he faced a lot of struggles that, uh, that we all do when it comes to, you know, dating and, um, you know, trying to, you know, go out with the, the type of woman that, uh, that you want. And, you know, he spends uh, the first chapter talking about some of his experiences and just the failed attempts that he had. And I think a lot of us can identify, you know, rejection sucks and we don't really know like, w like what we're doing wrong, but, um, he paints a pretty good picture of, you know, his evolution of, you know, how things changed from his understanding. And that's really sets the tone and, and the base uh, foundation, I guess, for uh, how he, you know, narrates the rest of the book. Um, the, the next few parts are kind of the way things are. That's the, that's the title of the chapters. But, you know, what's really cool is that, you know, he tells things in a way that, again, flies in the face of what we see in TV and movies and media, which is to be Prince Charming, to kind of be, you know, super nice and, you know, be this, uh, you know, super reliable, always available guy. And then that's, that's what when that's what wins them over. Right. Um, and it's, it's important that we realize that, you know, our role as men and as good men is to always be focused on our purpose and always be, you know, aiming towards a direction and, and really leading, um, their own lives and that as a side effect of doing that for himself and his future, uh, women want to join that journey with him. So, um, he really focuses a lot on, you know, investing in yourself, investing in your future and putting yourself first, putting your needs first. And, you know, when I started to do this, I started to notice that, you know, people really did respond to it in a positive way. And again, it doesn't mean that you, you don't, you don't give a shit about anybody. It just means that you're putting your needs first. And, you know, I think if we talk about having, you know, really good confidence and, and, you know, high self-esteem, those are the things that come, you know, as a result of really putting our needs and our priorities first and really negotiating for better terms uh, for our own lives. And nowhere is there more uh, negotiating and where you're, you know, emotions can run high and when your uh, insecurities can really flare up, nowhere is that more present than in relationships. So, um, you know, it's, it's cool because he tells you kind of the way that he assumes that you know how to go about dating and, and asking out girls and, and really how to be and um, kind of the, the kind of man that you think that you should be and how things are actually different in a lot of different ways. And when you read it, it's going to kind of like peak your, it, it's going to be conflicting at first. So know that when you go through it, it's, it, it's not, it's not something that you want to take lightly. If it's a conflict and, and you're kind of like, I don't really agree with that. Well, um, the reason I picked up this book is because even when I was reading through the conflicts, obviously I picked up the book for a reason. And that was because my relationships and you know, the things that I was doing in my own dating life were not worth a shit. So clearly I was uh, picking up the book and reading it for a reason. Um, you know, how, how to, how to present yourself, uh, great body language, uh, you know, the dynamics between how men and women, uh, not only go about meeting people, but you know, how the courtship is, uh, how they fall in love and, uh, how it's different from, from each other. Um, we're speaking very different languages and we hear that all the time, 
But uh, you know, when, when you read through his material, you're gonna spot things at work or when you're out in public, you're gonna spot things that he's talking about in this book that are that will really stand out to you. And when you start to embody a lot of the things that he teaches in here, you're gonna, sh it's gonna, it's gonna shock you. And I, I, for me personally, it was one of those things that like once I saw results, um, and they were fairly immediate. Once I saw results, like I was, I was addicted. So I kept, uh, kept coming back to it. Um, you know, it talks about uh, online dating. You know, dating women on the internet, um, approaching women you know the right way to, to kind of judge her level of attraction he actually gives you uh, a couple of activities in here uh, one is to create like your your ideal list of what you want and what you uh, what you definitely don't want in a partner um, and then also you know how to rate her attraction level so he kind of gives a one through ten scale with specific examples and uh, you know those are good things to to always kind of keep in the back of your mind which of course, if you've re if you've read it a couple of times, it's just instinctual. It's just there. You know, really, kind of how or how to read your woman and, and know what kind of uh, place that she's in, how attracted she is to you, because it can change over time. I think for guys, it's something that uh, doesn't change as much or is as fluid as it is for women. So, um, you know, he talks about getting in, getting yourself right emotionally as a man, uh, being that. Uh, being that strong centered uh, person and uh, and you know making sure that you can handle the the rocking boat because she's gonna she's gonna throw you some barbs she's gonna try and test you and uh, you know he teaches you how to how to handle those things how to navigate those rough waters and how to do it in a way that really builds uh, you know great rapport great relationships and filter out the girls that uh, that you're really not supposed to be with so you know. He talks about uh, you know perceptions of control. So this is where I think a lot of guys uh, fall off the rails, and it's because you know we're prideful, we have egos, we don't like to see uh, you know when our girl is maybe testing the waters by flirting with somebody else or something that makes us uncomfortable because it it sort of um, it flares up like our our insecurities start to flare up. So he handles uh, or he teaches you a lot about how to handle those things on your own. And then you know how to handle them and kind of be playful with them, so that way you know she knows that like okay, no matter what I do, like like I can't move this guy off center is what he calls it. So really cool, really good exercises there. Uh, how to approach and then you know a couple of other things. So handling the pressure points, rejection sucks, but it's part of life, right? So um, he teaches you you know specific ways about you know setting definite dates so that way you either know if she's in or out. Um, you know, he teaches you a lot of stuff about the um, communication styles and the level at, at which, you know, you should be or should not be uh, calling, texting, and uh, setting dates. So uh, you get a really good understanding of understanding where she's coming from. And, you know, as you read this, much like I did, you're going to probably have some baseball moments because you're like, fuck, I totally did that. And it's going to, for some for some guys that read this, they're gonna they're gonna read through some of the chapters, and they're gonna be able to totally relate to a circumstance or a situation that he is telling you about. And a lot of the times that I did that, things clicked for me. So I was like, okay, well, no wonder it didn't work out, or now I understand why you know things started to unravel. So you'll definitely have those moments, uh, and sometimes they're tough to read through. I mean, let's be real; like it's it's not. It's not fun to have to deal with this shit. So, uh, but you know, this is going to prepare you for for long term success and how to become a, a better man. So, um, or a three percent man, as as he tells it. Uh, just some different tests that you can run her through too. So, just some different tests that you can actually run her through as well. You know, this isn't um, this isn't a one way street. Um, men have to see themselves as a prize. They really have to see themselves as the um, as the as the prize that the, that the women are trying to attain. And too often, I think because of what we see in TVs and media, like, you know, guys just kind of being wimpy saps and, you know, having no spine at all is really what gets the woman to like cave and feel bad for him and, and be with him. And when you do that in real life, what does that do but get you rejected? Like, it just doesn't fucking work. So, uh, you know, he's really good about, you know, telling you that um, it's, not, it's not really about what you've been fed or it's not really about what you think is the right way to go about um, approaching and, and dating and courting women. You know, he focuses a lot on 
uh, you know, weathering different storms and how to handle rejection and how to, you know, fight through th some things that are tough and how to process through them. So uh, then, you know, we, that's kind of in the, in the dating phase. So at first he's talking about talking about you and your, you, or he's talking about his own uh, understandings and, and his struggles. The second part is really about getting yourself right and, um, you know, sh basically changing your paradigm about what you think is uh, the right way to, to go about the dating market or the relationship market, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then the, uh, you know, the last part that he talks about is um, how to do this ongoing. So because the, the process of becoming a good man and, um, you know, the best version of ourselves is, is ongoing, we've talked about that here before, but because that process is something that is always ongoing, uh, he gives you some tips and, and, and some things about how to always continuing to, to, you know, lead the relationship, how to, you know, go after what you want, how to lead with purpose, how to live a life of, uh, of purpose and intent and, um, you know, how to become the best version of yourself and how to do that, you know, for, for the long, for the long haul, for the long term. Um, but that is all for this particular book review. So again, how to be a 3% man by Corey Wayne. I'm actually going to put a link to, uh, to Amazon down here. It is an affiliate link. So again, uh, full transparency here. Any, you know, if you buy the book, then uh, I do get a commission on it. Uh, any, uh, any purchases or any commissions are going to go towards, you know, equipment and, uh, you know, different lighting and, and, and studio and, and stuff. So it's all in an effort to, uh, to build our community and make this a good experience for everybody. So, uh, but I want you to know that again, I'll link to his channel and his book in the show notes below. Um, if you have any questions or you have a struggle that you'd like some advice on, um, please reach out to me, send me an email at the at gmail.com. Like the video, share the video, and please share the channel with anybody on uh, social media or anybody within your family that you think would be a good addition to our community. If this is adding value to your life, then we want to uh, include those that uh, could also be um, getting value as well. So we want to build a community here. Thank you for tuning into another episode here at the Mancore. I will see you fellas on the next episode. Take care.